the Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night, tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised from life to death. Answer me when I call, O God of my righteousness. You set me at liberty when I was in trouble. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. How long will you nobles dishonour my glory? How long will you love vain things and seek falsehood? But know that the Lord has shown me his marvellous kindness. When I call upon the Lord, he will hear me. Stand in awe and sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed and be still. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. There are many that say, who will show us any good? Lord, lift up the light of your countenance upon us. You have put gladness in my heart more than when their corn and wine and oil increase. In peace I will lie down and sleep, for it is you, Lord, only who make me dwell in safety. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. The one who endures to the end will be saved, and this good news of the kingdom will be proclaimed throughout the world as a testimony to all the nations. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. O King most blessed, on the day of judgment, number us among your chosen. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. O King most blessed, on the day of judgment, number us among your chosen. Let us pray. United in the company of all the faithful, and looking for the coming of the kingdom, let us offer our prayers to God, the source of all life and holiness. 
Merciful Lord, strengthen, strengthen all Christian people by your Holy Spirit, that they may live as a royal priesthood and a holy nation, to the praise of Jesus Christ our Saviour. Bless our bishops and all who minister in your church, that by faithful proclamation of your word we may be built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets into a holy temple in the Lord. Empower us by the gift of your holy and life-giving Spirit, that we may be transformed in likeness of Christ from glory to glory. Give to the world and its peoples the peace that comes from above, that they may find Christ's way of freedom and life. Hold in your embrace all who wish to your love in the service of the poor and needy, all who minister to the sick and dying, and all who bring light to those in darkness. Touch and heal all those whose lives are scarred by sin or dis or disfigured by pain, that raised from death to life in Christ, their sorrow may be turned into eternal joy. Remember in your mercy all those gone before us who have been well pleasing to you from eternity. Preserve in your faith your servants on earth. Guide us to your kingdom and grant us your peace at all times. Hasten the day when many will come from east and west, from north and south, and sit at table in your kingdom. We give you thanks for the whole company of your saints in glory, with whom in fellowship we join our prayers and praises. By your grace may we, like them, be made perfect in your love. Blessing and glory and wisdom, thanksgiving and honour and power, be to our God for ever and ever. Amen. Almighty Father, Almighty Father, whose will is to restore all things in your beloved Son, the King of all, Govern the hearts and minds of those in authority and bring the families of the nations divided and torn apart by the ravages of sin to be subject to his just and gentle rule who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. May the light of Christ, the King of all, shine ever brighter in our hearts, that with all the saints in light, we may shine forth as lights in the world. Amen. Jesus Christ is waiting, waiting in the streets. No one is his name.
Jesus Christ is Christ.